someone is saying, well, okay, we need to write out this process. Why do you do that? And mostly the answer was, I don't know. Let's figure it out. Hi, my name is Chad Robertson. I'm the co-founder with my wife, Liz Pruitt of Tartine. I just said to Janet, I could, I could stay here all day, sleep here. It's a really nice place. My first impression was I wish we had one of these in, in San Francisco. It's, the design is beautiful and all the spaces uh, work differently, but together. My biggest problem when I see so many books like this is that I, I don't know where to start and I feel like they have thoughtful and smart way of making different collections in different parts of the building. So it's pretty easy to find something that's really useful and helpful. You don't really know what it means. It's like having a child. You don't really know until you have one. And then after that, you start forming different opinions about what it means to make a book and, and how to engage uh, your team and how to push vision forward and creativity. I think the first book was kind of an independent, almost a search for, for knowledge and, and an exploration of why we do what we do. Because I worked alone for so long, talking to myself all day, I was just working. Process, every technique that I was doing was mostly just in my head and or sort of just natural movement that I never thought about. My team, especially Eric, who was photographing it and working with me, I'm just shaping the bread a certain way or mixing the dough a certain way and then saying, well, okay, we need to write out this process. Why do you do that? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Asking me question after question after question. That, and then that was the process of putting the book together is asking ourselves why we're doing this and then defining it and then also deciding in that, in that process somewhere, is this the best way to do it or am I just doing this because it's habit and that there's another way to do it? A journey to discover what kind of bread we want to make and then why we do it the way we do it and then how to teach others. Uh, the second bread book, book three, was more like an adventure. On, we don't really know what we're going to find, but I didn't want to work alone anymore. I wanted to work with a team and collaborate and kind of go on an adventure with, explore new, new territories. This is, I mean, coming here to Korea is a big part of it. I would say it's mostly looking outside of just baking. It's traveling to see different cultures, different styles of cuisine, art, music. It's a little bit outside of baking, mainly because Baking has been a very traditional thing that doesn't change at all. So it's inspiring, but it's not as inspiring as something like cooking or music or art where you're constantly creating new things. We're trying to bring some of that excitement and dynamic uh, nature to baking, to the craft of baking. Other chefs, artist friends, and I have a lot of artist friends in San Francisco, and, and musicians, and then just meeting people with totally different cultures. Um, I've been that way since I was a kid, and I'm happy to say it's not changed at all.